Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing my favorites from the month of February. was a short month I still have 10 favorites that I want to share with you guys today I have a whole assortment of things so let's just jump right in the first thing on my list is this spiralizer and I've seen this all over Pinterest it's this little tool that you can use to spiralize zucchini or carrots or potatoes or really any kind of like root vegetable or squash and you can substitute these zoodles in as like regular pasta it's like kind of a fun way to use vegetables and to make your meals a little bit more healthy. Now, people say that it's like a substitute for pasta, and while it does look like pasta and have the shape, it's not that it tastes like pasta, it really still does taste like zucchini. But it's been a fun way to make my meals a little bit more healthy and to get in some greens. I actually don't like squash and I don't like zucchini, but for some reason when it's cut in this spiral shape, I don't mind it so much. I kind of cook it al dente so it still has a crunch and it's been really delicious. The first time I ever had zoodles was at La Pond, that cute little cafe. If you've ever been there, it's like really delicious, great coffees, good food. They had zoodles instead of those pad thai noodles. It was delicious and I was just thinking to myself, I've got to recreate this at home. So I went to Williams Sonoma, bought the little tool and I am hooked. I've been using it three or four nights a week for my dinners and it's definitely changing the way I think of how to make dishes and I know I'm eating a little bit healthier because of it, so highly recommend this little tool. Okay, next on my list is a little weird, it's Huga. I don't know really exactly if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's the Danish word. There's really no translation directly into English, but it kind of means like safety and comfort and warmth and coziness. It's this whole lifestyle really in Denmark. I read the book, The Little Book of Hugo, like really hope I'm saying it remotely correctly, it's hard. I listened to the audiobook of it and I was totally inspired to incorporate some more Hugo into my life and make it more Hugo-y. <laughs> If you haven't read the book, I definitely recommend reading it because Denmark's actually one of the happiest countries in the world. And one of the reasons for that, the author argues, is that they have this concept of Hugo and that helps them get through those long, cold, dark winter months with a great attitude. So I was like, yeah, I hate winter. I'm gonna try to incorporate some of these things into my life. And it's amazing. Even just saying the word is fun. And my boyfriend and I were going around one day. It was like super rainy. It was cold and drizzly and like dreary. I'm like, well, this is great because it's just more Hugo. So let's just lean into it and have a great weekend because of it. It's so like, put on your cozy, thick wool sweaters and make a cup of tea, have a little cinnamon roll treats and light a candle and enjoy that Hugo day. Okay, next on my list is a clothing item that I bought last year, but it kind of sat in my closet because I was a little intimidated to wear it, and that is a J. Crew bodysuit. It's kind of awkward when you look at it. So it's a regular blouse on top, and then connected to it, it looks like underwear, but it's basically like a little, yeah, kind of underwear situation. The whole premise of it, I guess, is that you don't have to worry about tucking in your shirts because there's little snaps at the bottom. And with the snaps, it makes it so that you can kind of keep your shirt nice and clean and tucked at all times. It is really awkward to put on. You feel like you're wearing a baby onesie, to be very honest, but it is effective. I don't ever have to worry about like lifting my arms up and having my shirt come untucked or like awkwardly having to shove a shirt into my jeans after using the restroom. It's brilliant. I want it in every color and every style because it's so practical and amazing. Next is a beauty product that I was actually sent by a PR company and it's the Tula Exfoliating Treatment Mask. I love doing face masks. It's like one of my guilty pleasures and every night pretty much I feel like I'm using at least one of, in my collection. But this one is really, really, really good. It's this strange blue color, which I was kind of hesitant about, but it's definitely like clay based. So when it goes on, you leave it on for five minutes and then as you rinse it off, there's like little exfoliating beads or something in it that exfoliates your skin. So you use it and like kind of rub it off like in circle motions and that helps exfoliate your skin. So you have like the mask and exfoliation. It is a little bit difficult to get fully off. Like my face looks a little chalky. Whenever I use this particular face mask, I try to time it up so that I'm hopping in the shower so I can like really get in the, the shower and scrub my face clean. 
My face is always a little bit red after I use it, but once the redness, which I'm sure is just from the plain exfoliation, goes away, my face always looks so clear and smooth and the texture feels amazing. So I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it. It's great. Okay, next on my list is this short sleeve sweater from Draper James. I am obsessed with this. I saw it online. It's under $100 and I just had to have it. Feels kind of like a preppy Gucci sweater for a whole lot less. I actually had seen a little blazer on Nordstrom from Gucci that was like $3,000 and it had like these exact color ribbon bows going down the front of it. And I just thought I could never spend $3,000 on a blazer that I would probably only wear a handful of times. But I've actually already worn this sweater a bunch. So I feel like I've gotten my money's worth and I know I'm going to continue wearing it a whole lot. It's one of those sweaters that can work throughout all different kinds of seasons. I cannot wait to wear it this summer with like a cute pair of shorts or like white jeans and little wedges. It's just so fun and chic and really comfortable. I love the ruffle neckline. And of course, it's Reese Witherspoon's company, so what's not to love? Okay, so I mentioned that I just bought this and it was actually the first purchase that I made after going the whole month of January without purchasing a single item of clothing. And as a fashion blogger who makes a living like sharing new clothes and outfits, it's actually kind of hard to go that long without buying stuff but I am feeling super sick of just buying a bunch of clothes just to kind of have them for my blog. It just doesn't feel like a good reason to shop and it really is kind of wasteful. So I told myself that I wasn't gonna buy anything for the month of January. I enjoyed it so much that I basically was like, I'm gonna try to do this a lot throughout the year and it's made me rethink like when I'm buying stuff and why I'm buying it and if I really need it and how much I really want something. So this was the first purchase that I made on February 1st, and it's still the only thing that I bought through the whole month of February, so I'm pretty proud of myself. So this whole no buy thing is definitely topping my list of things that I enjoyed in February, and I'm hoping to continue through the rest of the year as well. It's actually been kind of fun because it's forcing me to go through my closet and rewear clothes in new ways, or revisit things that I haven't worn in a long time or put together outfits that I hadn't thought of. So I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. And I know I am kind of lucky because I do get some stuff sent to me from brands. So it's not like I'm just completely not getting new things, but I am going to be way more conscious of rewearing things on my blog because I want people to know that it's totally fine to rewear your clothes and that you can rewear them in new and interesting ways. And I hope you guys are inspired to do this as well. And definitely check out my blog to see how I'm wearing some of my old clothes in new ways. Okay, next up is a TV show that I discovered from Netflix and that is The Good Place. I think it was originally airing on NBC and it's currently in its third season, but the first season is on Netflix. I'm normally not a fan of comedy shows, especially if they're a little bit too slapstick funny or like cheesy sometimes. And this one I thought was gonna be a show that was like that, but I was really desperate just for something really light and happy to watch and something that would be funny and that I wouldn't get like super emotional or super invested in like Grey's Anatomy or some other show like that. And with everything going on in the world, I just wanted like a quick and easy show to watch and I just decided to watch The Good Place. I'm so glad I did because it is hilarious. And the character development is really amazing. I thought the first episode was great. I thought the second episode was amazing, but it's one of those shows where literally every episode, it just keeps getting better and better. So I've watched the whole first season and now I cannot wait to start watching the second season because it's that good. And I'm really hoping that some of you guys have watched it too because I'm dying to discuss it with some of my friends, but no one seems to have watched it. It's with Kristen Bell and I just think she's super adorable and funny and she's so great on the show. Actually, the entire cast is amazing. It's just one of those lighthearted shows that are really fun and kind of low key and low stress to watch. So if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a try. And if you have, leave a comment below and tell me how much you love it too because I definitely want to start discussing this with someone out there. Okay, next up on my list is my friend's company, Kyle James Patrick. I've included some of their items in some of my other favorite videos, but they just launched a new line of watches and oh my goodness, they are so cute. They're like a really big oversized boyfriend looking watch for girls. They're unisex faces. So they're like oversized on girls and just regular size for men, but they come in four different colors. I picked out the pretty white one because I just wanted it to go with as many outfits as possible. But the hour hand and the minute hand are an arrow and a anchor. Guys, it's so 
cute. I'm obsessed with it. And I have both the leather watch band and also the ribbon watch band, which again, feels kind of Gucci-like. It's super cute and goes with so many outfits. You'd be surprised. I do wear my Apple watch kind of on a more regular basis, but it's fun to mix it up if I want something that's a little bit cuter. If you remember from my January favorites, video i got the movie pass and i have been going to see so many movies and it's one of those great things where because i've already paid for the month and it's only ten dollars a month i don't feel guilty going to see a movie twice or going to see a movie that i wouldn't necessarily see or if i hate a movie i don't feel like i just wasted all this money you know watching it so i had a little bit of free time one weekend and i decided to go see black panther and it wasn't that I didn't want to see the movie, but I'm just normally not a fan of superhero movies. Like, I don't really enjoy them. They're not my cup of tea. But I just had some free time, and because I had the movie pass, I was like, yeah, I'll just go. Guys, it was, I think, my favorite movie of the entire year. It was also over two hours. That's normally my cutoff for watching movies because I get super bored. <laughs> this one kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was laughing, it was amazing, the plot is great, the actors are incredible. It was such a good movie and I feel like everyone in the world needs to see it. I'm sure they pretty much already have because it's breaking all these box office records. It was so good and I really want to go see it again. So I'm hoping to get some of my friends to go with me next time. I loved it. One of the best parts about it was it was one of the first movies that I've gone to this year where the theater was absolutely packed. Literally every seat was taken. I went by myself and had someone sitting on my left and the right and everyone was cracking up together and at one point like two characters kiss and everyone started cheering and it was just like such a feel good movie and I loved that it was this you know kind of community experience watching it together so definitely try to go see it in a theater if it's something that you want to watch. Last but not least I got some new sheets and bedding from Macy's for a sponsored post and I don't know if you guys are like me but as I've become older I have just grown to appreciate great linens. I never thought I would be that kind of person and it feels so boring even saying that, but I love getting new sheets especially. I feel like I just sleep so much better when I have a fresh new set of sheets for my bed and these are so cute. It's basket weave print and it's my favorite navy and white, but it's kind of a fun print especially since I picked out a super simple white duvet with some navy details. The sheets kind of give it a fun twist and on my blog, I had it so that the Euro shams were out front, but I love the sheets so much that I've actually been putting the Euro shams in the back and kind of letting the pillowcases be a little bit bolder and a little bit more fun. Highly recommend these sheets. They're super comfortable, super soft, and they really are cute, especially if you have a more simple or a basic duvet. So one fun fact about the bedding is that I think it was like in my August favorites video, I shared that I had just got new monogrammed bedding, but I'm actually moving into a new place with my boyfriend, which I'm gonna have to do like a new video on kind of like a life update. So stay tuned for that. But I can't use my monogram bedding if we're living together. So as much as I love that monogram bedding, and trust me, I really love it, I needed something that was a little bit more unisex and that would work for both of us. So white and navy simple bedding it is, but truly it has such a hotel look that you really can't go wrong with it. I am sure it will seem like no time that I'll be back doing my March favorites, but if you liked my February's favorites video, make sure you give this a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you had something that you discovered from the month. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button.